Ryan Drucks finished second yesterday. Another strong run for him in these limited opportunities he's getting. Is he deserving of another full-time opportunity in one of NASCAR's top three series? Yeah, I mean, he is well-deserving. I know that, remember remember the last time we saw Ryan Truex run full-time, it was with the truck at Nice Motorsports. And, you know, I, I just think, obviously, that at that time, there were a lot of things going on. Remember, I think Nice was like, oh, Lord, they were three they were three full-time tr- they were four full-time trucks at that time and it's, it's not when there were a lot of things that were going on still you were that we were still kind of in the COVID pandemic a little bit in in the start of the season so obviously it's just like it, w- it was just tough for him to get off the ground and now he feels like I think he I think he feels at home with Joe Gibbs racing and you know getting this opportunity like a lot of drivers like Mike Snyder and Joe Graff Jr. and all the guys that you'll see in that car that we're, that 19 has really performed well, and uh, and of course he's in the he's in the field next uh, this week at uh, this week at Atlanta. So we'll have to see uh, see how this thing goes. What do you think, Brandon? Yeah, it kind of feels like the Trevor Bain story last year. I hope Ryan gets um, plenty of more starts. I now correct me if I'm wrong. Isn't he starting next week as well? Uh, yes, I think I heard that news. Yeah, so he'll be at Atlanta too. That's another great opportunity for him to try to pick up a victory. Really close at Phoenix, and that was a great drive for Ryan. I'd, I'd say give him another shot um, if he keeps proving that he can be consistent up front. He seems like a true racer, just like his brother, and really does drive like his brother, too, it seems, here and there. So I, I was surprised when I went to check uh, Ryan's stats in his, his bio page this week. Uh, I guess he turns 31 uh, this upcoming week here. I didn't realize, you know, because Martin Trucks Jr. is in his early 40s, I didn't realize there was that much of an age gap. And it feels like Ryan's been around for a long time. You know, he was a two-time uh, K&N East at the time uh, champion. I guess it would have actually been Camping World East the first year he won it in 2009. Um, so he's been around for a while. And, uh, you know, it's kind of, you know, fun to see it come back full circle for him to be part of a Toyota family again here. But, uh, you know, he, he still certainly could have, uh, you know, several years left in his racing career if he gets an opportunity. I know he's never won a national series race, but he has come close several times. He's got a few second-place finishes and trucks and Xfinity to, to show for it as well. So, um, you know, I, I would certainly be for giving him, uh, you know, a full-time opportunity, maybe not in the cup series, but certainly, you know, there, there's gotta be an, an Xfinity program or a truck program out there that could use uh, a, a driver like him, who I think is, is very solid. And, you know, it's just kind of looking for that next big break and opportunity to show what he can do. I think Brian Truex certainly fits that description very well.